This is so beautiful, guys. So if you didn't watch my video yesterday, I'm actually at a little spot called Secret Beach, just a little north of Chicago, and like right up the road from Illinois Beach State Park. It's a pretty little spot, guys. Hands down, my favorite spot I've camped at so far. Oh no! Ow! Ow! I hit my shin so hard. I just stepped on the like slippery rocks at the bottom down there. I was too focused on getting the shot. Oh man, all right, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> so comical. All right, well, I'm gonna hop up in here and make some French vanilla chai, cause I need it. I am gonna finish making this chai and then probably just chill out here for a bit and then get ready to take off and head up to Illinois Beach State Park. That's the plan. Have I said that yet? <laughs> I am so happy this spot worked out though. It's always cool coming to new spots, especially with views like this. starts when you're in spots like this not that I thought it wouldn't but in worst case scenario I could grab one of my camper batteries and jump it probably so all right let's see here we have 17 minutes till we get there it's just a little bit north of here head south toward Market Street let's do it guys see what this state park has to offer. This road is so bumpy, guys. In 600 feet, turn left. So long, abandoned campground.
I'd love to come back here one day and clean up all the trash. It needs it. It's so, so dirty. That was a spot to get to. But honestly, it made it even cooler because it was like just hidden away. That's pretty awesome. It feels so good getting up that early. <laughs> I usually am like super tired, so I just, I'm like, ah. But when you actually force yourself to get up, you just feel more productive. You feel like you have more of the day to do stuff, and that's a good feeling. But anyway, I will see you guys when I get over there. Eight minutes to go. They have free parking here at Illinois Beach State Park. That's awesome. Every single beach I went to in Michigan was not free. So, this is cool. Whoa. Mmm, so good. Hey, look. <laughs> My favorite little buddies. What's up, guys? I wonder why nobody's here. I guess the weather's just too perfect for everybody today. No, honestly, it's it's a lot cooler than it was even yesterday. 50 some degrees today as a high. That's kind of chilly. I love it though. <laughs> I'm cool with it. Wow, this is beautiful. I seriously can never get enough of views like this. It just makes me grateful to be alive and to be able to come out and do stuff like this because not everybody can. And it seems like such an easy thing to be able to come out and go for hikes and stuff, but I'm lucky to be able to do that. I'm probably gonna head back to the camper and look up exactly where these trails are because it was a little hard to tell on the map. I found a spot that's like two minutes from here. Head that's southwest toward Lake. I think this is like all. Head out. east toward Lakefront Drive. There's a parking lot up the road a little ways. Two minutes from here, that's the Illinois Beach parking lot. I thought that's what this was, but I guess not. This is a speed bump. <laughs> this is all free parking right here. And there's picnic tables and grills. Oh, this would be a good spot to make some dinner. There's a trail right back here that leads to the beach and stuff, so I'm gonna go check that out. Let's do it. It's like taking an ice bath. It's kind of sad though. I've just been around Lake Michigan a couple times now and I haven't swam one single time. I regretted that last time when I went to Michigan. So I think before I leave today, I'm gonna dunk myself in that water. <laughs> this looks pretty clean, to be honest. Compared to the beaches I was at in Michigan, those looked a little murky. 
This looks so clean. I've got no excuses. Such a cool little spot, guys. Just like a 50 foot walk to the beach. Now I wish that's what my campsite looked like last night, but it was still pretty. Man, if I do jump in the water, I literally would have picked the coldest day out of every time I've been to Lake Michigan. But that's what I get for not jumping in the first time. And I have a heater in my camper, so I'd be fine. Honestly, it heats up in there so quick when I turn that thing on, and it feels amazing. I gotta do it. I have to. And if I don't, I still have to post these and show how much of a wuss I am because I didn't do it, and I talked about doing it so much. So. Oh, this looks like a cool park, too. There's actually some hiking trails, like, two miles away from here just out a little ways away from the lake. So I'll probably just chill here for a bit. Maybe try to go swimming. Probably make another cup of chai. <laughs> oh man, that sounds like fun. <laughs> all right, I'm getting excited now. and <laughs> just talking about all this. And then I'll go to this other park and do some hiking in the woods. It'll be fun. Cheers. Such a vibe in here, guys. I'm gonna turn my heater on for a second because I'm chilly. I wanna jump in the water. It's real cold, guys. I don't know about it. We'll see. Oops. Oh, it feels good. I love this little heater. It's the Mr. Buddy heater my little buddy. I'm gonna throw these swim trunks on real quick and then just walk back out toward the beach over here. It might be a little chilly, but you know, I can't. It's been a minute since I opened this and I just realized that my second battery came, came disconnected. The connection is just chilling there. It's probably when I was going to the spot I was at last night. It was super rough terrain getting back in there so that's probably what did it i've got a little board in between these that was supposed to box this first one in but it's kind of just keeping them too far apart my positive cable isn't long enough I'm gonna take this board out screw this back down up here that way it doesn't keep pushing out like that that works oh yeah that brought it up a bit I'm gonna throw these swim trunks on and then head out to the beach and see if I can build up the courage to jump in. Oh, I gotta grab my towel too. Let's do it, guys. I didn't purposefully pick the coldest day <laughs> to do this. I just don't know how much longer I'll be along Lake Michigan. Gotta seize the opportunities when I can, you know, whether it's nice out or not. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen people do way colder stuff than this, like polar plunges. And if you've watched like Kara and Nate at all, they've done it in Antarctica or something like that. So this is nothing. I'm just gonna chill here for a few minutes. 
and try to build up the courage to get in. Oh my gosh, I'm not ready. Oh no, this is so cold. <laughs> what did I commit to, guys? My legs are already numb. I'm gonna have to get back into the camper so quickly. All right, I'm gonna put you guys down so I can get in. That was the coldest water I've ever been in. Oh, that felt <laughs> refreshing. Probably not. <laughs> well, that was an experience. <laughs> that is a beautiful spot, guys. So awesome. Oh, I'm glad I did that. I needed it. Oh. Let's get warmed up and make some chai. Man, that was fun. I tried to stay in as long as I could. It was just an immediate shock. And I kind of like slammed myself down into the water that it went up my nose a little bit. So I was like, oh no. I was gonna turn the heater on, but to be honest, I don't feel too bad anymore. Getting out of the cold air is helping. It's 63 in here now, so that's not too bad. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. I need it. Oh, it's starting to rain, guys. Nothing better than a hot drink on a chilly day, especially after you just did an ice bath. It's not an ice bath. It was really cold, but I can't even imagine how cold it would be to do it with like snow around or like with ice in the water. <laughs> I've just never done that before, so that was intense for me. <laughs> I want to do it again, but not right now. Maybe this winter. I'll try to find a spot to do a real cold plunge and then I'll be a certified cold plunger. I'm just gonna let this steep for a bit and then go do some hiking up at this park. Let me, let me look and see what the name was again. Lions Woods Forest Preserve. We're just up the road from there, so. Cheers guys, hopefully this isn't too hot. It's too hot. We're good though. Well, I'm trying to decide what to do. I'm not sure what the weather's planning on doing. Yeah, it's supposed to rain for a little while. I'm probably gonna lay down for a bit because my feet are a little cold. Obviously, I can't stay right here at this park. They have a campground, so they would just kick you out of this spot. But it is really cool to just be able to come and chill out for a bit on a rainy day or whenever. Get cozied up in bed at a park. <laughs> it's so crazy to me. I love it, guys. I 
Oh yeah, that's nice. So the rain is finally starting to clear up. I'm gonna get ready to go hiking and yeah, rain or shine, we're gonna go explore some forests. <laughs> So let's do it. I'm glad you came out, otherwise I was gonna put by and hawk the horde. And... Oh, the shoes. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, I was gonna grab them. I didn't forget about them. I'm a little chilled now. Alrighty, about an eight minute drive to this park. So, it's not too bad. Let's do it. This was a pretty spot though. I had a fun time jumping in the lake. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Made it. Google was trying to tell me that I arrived when I was just driving out on the main road, so I kind of had to find it on my own, but we did, so that's good. And honestly, this would be a pretty cool spot to cook some dinner. It's open until sunset, so sounds like a plan to me. I just gotta throw some water in my jug real quick, and then we're good to go. I'll grab my backpack. Enough. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'm going. Good. <laughs> well, look at these pine trees, guys. I love pine forests like this. This is so beautiful, guys. Here's a map of the place. Nice little map right there. Oh, there's a pond. That's cool. I'm gonna go check that out. I did just come from Lake Michigan, but I mean, hey, I'm all about checking out a new spot, so. There are so many birds. They're all just zipping around. So pretty, guys. Trail ends in a hundred feet. There was no pond, guys. I don't know what they're talking about. All right, well, that was the end of the trail. That was the end of that branch, at least. It goes a lot of different directions, so I'm just gonna keep on hiking, seeing what's out here, and then head back and make some dinner here in like 45 minutes or so. It'll be a little early dinner, but that's okay. I'm just kind of walking the rest of this little branch right here and then I'm gonna head back to the camper. I actually meant to buy a potato though so I can make some fries. I might actually run up to Aldi <laughs> before I make some dinner. I meant to stop there before I came here but I didn't even think about it. I'm gonna make some burgers and some like loaded french fries. Mostly just cheese and some fried onions. I was thinking about that earlier. I was like, ooh, man, that sounds pretty good. 
So I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. I just gotta go grab a potato, which I thought I was gonna be cooking at this park, but I'll find a spot. All right, <laughs> I'm not sure how much further that went, but I'm heading back now. I was looking at the map though, and there's a beach like 10 minutes from the Aldi I'm going to. So it'd be cool to potentially cook some dinner on my tailgate there. Even if I don't, it'd be cool to go chill on the beach again before the sunset. And maybe it'll be a pretty sunset. to all of you real quick and then go make some dinner <laughs> I'd rather wait to make dinner and have an even better dinner so it's fine by me I just need to pull up the directions it's 20 minutes total 10 minutes to Aldi 10 minutes to the beach all right let's do it I should start these maps though Continue on Hiawatha Pioneer Trail for one mile. Aldi doesn't sell like any single potatoes or anything, so that was only three bucks for that whole bag, so that's not too bad. And I can make some more stuff out of it, so that works for me. I'm gonna go forward, I cannot see back there. I don't trust it. Continue on Grand Avenue for one and a half miles. Sweet. Beautiful. It's not raining right now either, so I might try cooking outside. I think it was supposed to clear up pretty much completely here in a bit so this is beautiful though guys look at this blue skies and beach vibes wow that is beautiful good place to end the evening I'd say obviously I'll have to go find somewhere to camp still but this is a pretty cool spot the best backdrop right there honestly I'm glad I forgot the potato <laughs> I probably wouldn't have come over here if I didn't yeah I don't know if there's hours for this beach it'd be pretty cool if there weren't then I could just stay here but I doubt it spot I'd say. Oh, that is beautiful. It's kind of windy out there. I can hear it coming through the vent. I want to cook outside but I think we could manage. It's not crazy windy in the back back here so plus this stove has the little guards on the side for the wind, so we should be okay. It's worth it for the view, that's for sure. <laughs> Look at that view, guys. Those clouds are looking glorious. <laughs> 
I really just need one of these. Don't need to bring the whole thing out there. These are my buns for tonight. Since I have bread already, I didn't want to have to buy more. Oops. And I just need an onion. And we're good to go. Man, that wind is blowing through here. Crazy. Oops. No! My seasoning's rolling away. <laughs> Also gonna pull out this table I got from Ron like forever ago. Sorry I haven't used it yet, Ron. But I am gonna use it today. Let's set it up back here so I have a little extra space. There we go. That's an awesome little table. Thanks again, Ron. It's super compact but it actually folds out really far. Far enough to be like almost at the level of my tailgate. But honestly, that's perfect. Sweet. What am I gonna have to do to remember everything? How could I forget a lighter? I can't do anything without a lighter. I'm hopeless, guys. <laughs> It'll be okay. onion prepped real quick. Looks like a good potato. I can't remember if I mentioned it already, but this is the Waukegan City Beach or something, something like that. It's the main beach in the city of Waukegan. I know that. If you're wondering where I'm at, I can't remember if I mentioned that or not, but it's a beautiful park. The beach is like just a little ways down there. I kind of showed it when I pulled in, but I'm going to walk down there here in a bit. Check it out. Things prepped except for the burgers and this is probably getting hot oh yeah let's get these things in there oh that was hot splashed onto my wrist could probably do about half of these If you didn't watch yesterday's video, this is just my leftover meat from the quesadillas I had yesterday. 
I haven't used the table yet, but it'll definitely come in handy either way, whether I use it right now or not. Just haven't needed it quite yet, but. Got some smokehouse maple seasoning, McCormick. Oh, no. Oh. And some A1 dry rub. Just a little bit of that to kick it up. And some salt. That is beautiful. Such a cool spot to make dinner. Honestly, I could have faced the other way and I would have had the sunset in the background, but I'm fine with this too. Plus it would have been super windy over there, so. It's easier about there. Those are amazing. All right, let's get the rest of these in, get these burgers cooking. All right, am I gonna be able to fit both of these things on there? I should have grabbed my bigger pan. Those shrink down a little bit. That is looking good. Base them a little bit. I know this is not <laughs> the best way to base, but hey, do what you can. Guys are done. All right, let's go ahead and get these back in here. Get them all crisped up a little more. Whoa! Settle down. This is going to be such a good meal, guys. I've never done the loaded fries before. That's going to make them so... Oh, I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Those look amazing, guys.
All right, I think these are good. They're looking pretty crispy. the healthiest but cheers wow that is so good guys I do have a fork inside so I'll be using that but I'm gonna get these put together first though just some good old Hawaiian bread. Yummy, yummy. Let's give a burger a taste test real quick too, while we're at it. That is so good, guys. Success. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat this. I already know it's delicious. This has been an amazing day, and now I'm about to top it off with an amazing dinner. Man, look at that. That's amazing. And this burger is perfectly seasoned. I'm thankful for that. I'm going to eat up as much of this as I can, which will probably be all of it, so. <laughs> and then I will catch up with you guys here in a few. We can go walk out by the beach and check out what they have. Just gotta jump back here and clean this stuff up real quick and then we can walk over and check the spot out all right this pan just does not like to pour out it likes to keep going down the side Oh man, wow, that is such a beautiful sunset, guys. Look at that, it's gorgeous. That was a chilly little cleanup session. <laughs> the temp must be dropping or something. Cause that's a little colder than when I was cooking. <sighs> My hands are like red. They're so cold. Whew, man. That was a good dinner and just a good day in general. <laughs> and an amazing sunset to wake up to. That was gorgeous. But. I want to see this sunset too, so I'm not going to stay in here too long. 
I'm just gonna get a little more warmed up and then take off. Look at that. Let's go check out this sunset, see what's going on. Check out the beach, I should say. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. I honestly wasn't expecting this view tonight. But then again, it seems like every time it rains, there's always a gorgeous sunset that night. So I should have known, I guess. This whole area is just so vibrant right now. Beautiful. Man, I get so lucky with these sunsets. Seems like every time I go to make a video, it's just like, boom. <laughs> Look at that. Literally just all the way around me. So beautiful right now. That's insane. <laughs> it's just the most beautiful sunsets every time I pull out the camera. Oh wow, there's the start of a rainbow over there too. Actually a double rainbow. You guys see that? Right there? There's two of them. I am so glad I picked this spot. Waukegan Beach. This is the place to be at sunset. Every time I think I've seen like the most beautiful sunset I've seen and the next one just tries to top it. Sunsets are out here trying to have competitions with each other. <laughs> I love it. Well, I was not expecting to come out to this to be honest. It was pretty earlier when I was cooking but it wasn't like this. I should have waited to cook, I guess. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'd rather be out here walking during this. Man, it's chilly out here though. This is awesome, guys. So beautiful. I try to do like a panning video of like over here and I keep turning it and it's like, it just doesn't stop. The whole sky is just a canvas of art right now. It's gorgeous guys. I'm still not over it guys. It's still just as crazy as the first time I looked. We're so lucky that when day turns into night, we get like the prettiest time of the day. It's like, I know it's gonna be nighttime, but here you go. Here's a little painting to end your day. So cool. I'm probably gonna start walking back toward the camper and then look up a place to go sleep tonight. I'm thinking, Cracker Barrel because it's not too far out of the way. I could go back to the spot I stayed at last night But I don't know if I want to after it rained Probably just head to Cracker Barrel and then chill out for the night
in the views neighbor stuff. on all right guys I think I'm ready to take off we're about 20 minutes away from Cracker Barrel so let's hit it You guys couldn't tell. It's my favorite thing to do. Yeah, they shut the gate right there, so you definitely couldn't stay there. In 800 feet, continue on to Grand Avenue. In a quarter mile, turn left on the north side of Grand Avenue. We are three minutes away. It is so busy out here. That was a lot of traffic people just slamming on their brakes <laughs> people just don't like to drive well I guess it's interesting here we are guys head west Google I'm here can you not tell sweet Classic old Cracker Barrel over here in Gurney, Illinois. I think I am gonna bring this sleeping bag back there though, because it already is pretty cold. So, all right, let's get back there. Should probably try to get some of the sand swept out of here. Same though. After a day at the beach, it tends to be pretty sandy. Also, this rug is covered in sand too. Alright, that should be good. Honestly, gonna turn this rug like that for a change. Two degrees right now, which is better than outside. Oh yeah, that was a good day. Have I mentioned that? <laughs> yeah, I brought this back here just in case I get a little too cold, but honestly, I'm just gonna throw it over the top of this one. I don't like to leave the buddy heater on all night because it's just propane and it also just gets super hot if I leave it on all night but if I can just bundle up in this I should be good to be honest we'll see though oh yeah it's already starting to feel better enjoyed today's video I just wanted to say thanks for 11k subscribers already <laughs> you guys are insane so much support and I'm so grateful it's super fun to see and it's fun to share them with everybody hopefully I can get back out on the road here in a couple days and go do some more fun stuff 
And sorry, there's no song in today's video, but next time, I got you. I appreciate you guys, and I will see everybody tomorrow. Peace. And I'm going to turn this off because it is already getting so toasty. Good night, guys.